Welcome viewers uh, to our second offering as we pitch our tent in the crucible with Christ. This week we are looking at another um, discussion which we are going to be doing as we are looking at the crucibles that come. Oh, we have on my right Pastor Laven Moyo who is our head pastor at City Center Church and we have on our left my brother Blessing Nyaoma. Well, they call him the doctor. They say he's an associate <laughs> professor. Uh, and my name is Kudakwashi Tagre. Um, so we're going to be looking at this um, um, subject, the crucibles that come. Maybe before we start, we are going to ask uh, Pastor Nyaoma to pray for us. Okay. Let's pray. Father God, we are thankful this morning for yet another wonderful time that you have given us as a church to study more about our lives and how our intricate lives are mixed within the matrix of your grace as we go through different challenges of life. Mm. As we study, we pray that you, Christ, may be magnified and that we may be encouraged to go through our crucibles with grace. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 So today we are looking at... Um, uh, the book of Peter, we're also going to look at the book of Romans, Jeremiah, and Corinthians. As we are looking at the crucibles that come. Mm. Very fascinating subject, mm. Pastor Lavemon. Yeah. Maybe you can just give us a summary uh, from your understanding of the crucibles. Uh, you know, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, th thank you so much, Elder. I think, I yeah. think the, the, the title of the lesson says it itself. Mm -hmm. Um, that the crucibles that come, uh, for me, my, my understanding of that is that these crucibles will come. It's not a question of will they, might they, but it is a question of will they come or they will come. And uh, when we look at the overview of, of the Lele lesson, we are going to see cru cru crucibles that come as a result of sin, the crucibles that come from Satan, crucibles that serve to purify us and crucibles of maturity. So these are expectations in my view. Okay. That, would you want to add anything to, to that? Oh, uh, of, course. <clears throat> of course, there are also crucibles that comes as a result of sin. Mm -hmm. um, but crucibles are the common denominator. And it's amazing in the lesson that um, the writers or the writer uh, going throughout the Bible, we start from Peter, we go to Ezekiel, we go to Romans. Mm -hmm. It's throughout the Bible. I think it is also to show that um, the common denominator for every believer, mm -hmm. between the Old Testament to the New Testament, mm -hmm. it's crucibles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the crucibles come for perfection. Yes. They also come to be able to cleanse us. Mm -hmm. They also come to be able to show us who we are. Mm -hmm. And maybe that we might be chased, mm -hmm. or maybe we might be destroyed. But my crucibles are gone. Yeah. I notice here, but I'm going But to get a decider for Christ, or against Christ. Those yeah. are mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, when we were looking at the, um, um, at, at the introduction on Saturday, we are learning about uh, chemistry lab, mm -hmm. where people put in a certain material, and as you put them in, a, <coughs> and as you put heat mm -hmm. onto these chemicals, what happens? Some of them evaporate and yeah. are taken away, isn't yeah. it? True. So most likely, that's what we're going to be looking at in this subject. If this is going to be one of the most beautiful lessons that uh, we're going to be looking at. As I always say, the lesson for all of us, please go and read it. Mm -hmm. For us, we're going to be looking at new things that you most probably did not see. Yeah. So that at least we can have a complete lesson. So we're going to go on to um, Sunday. Sunday is talking about surprises. <laughs> what do you... Uh, uh, learn from the surprises that we are surprised by on yeah. Sunday. Um, Pastor Lafin. Surprise, surprise, surprise. That's the uh, mm. punctuation I got from, from, from this lesson. Uh, um, when you look at the key text, uh, which is First uh, Peter 4, verses 12 and 13, the Apostle Peter uh, is speaking to a congregation in the dispersion. Oh, yes. uh, and, and he's looking and he's speaking to an audience <coughs> that is right in the middle of affliction. Mm -hmm. 
And, and, and so as Peter speaks to his audience, he says, it, it is not a strange thing mm -hmm. concerning the fiery trials. Mm -hmm. so, so the fiery trials which are going to come your way mm -hmm. are not strange. Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're not a surprise mm -hmm. to a believer. Remember, mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians t uh, 10, verse 13, Paul says mm -hmm. that there's no temptation which has come to us, mm -hmm. which is not common to men. Mm -hmm. So as the believers are going through uh, uh, these trials, it, it does not come as a surprise. Mm -hmm. It is something that they should <coughs> expect. Mm -hmm. It is something that, that they should look forward to mm -hmm. by virtue of being believers, disciples of Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, the, you know, as we're going through the lesson, um, it says that the word surprise there might be foreign or alien. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Okay? So it means that do not, these are not foreign to us. Yes. They are not alien to us, isn't it? Your comment to that. So I will start by giving a historical background mm -hmm. that both of you have pitched mm -hmm. in that um, we debate about when the book of Peter was written. Was it written post-destruction of Jerusalem or pre-destruction of Jerusalem? And it changes the context. Uh, the majority of scholars believe that it was written after the destruction of Jerusalem. Okay. And the Jews were sent into the diaspora. They were oh. sent away from their homes. So. They were foreigners where they were. So when you see when Peter begins on First Peter chapter 1, from verse 9, he talks about, uh, you know, to the Jews in the diaspora, yeah. okay. in Cappadocia. Mm. So they are foreigners in foreign lands, okay. right? Once they are there, they are not just foreigners. They are foreigners who are also going through xenophobia, if yeah. you like. Mm. They are being exactly. persecuted. Mm. So when you come to what you highlighted in the word fairy or deal, mm. where they are going through fire, Peter is using a metaphor of reality mm -hmm. where they are literally being burned mm. okay. as they are being persecuted for their, for their beliefs. And as they are being burned, he then says, says um, don't be surprised. Why? Because they have a crisis of expectation. Remember, they have been waiting for the coming of Christ and they are saying, surely, uh, the delay of the coming of Christ is the worst thing that can happen. So you can't think of anything worse that can happen to us. In that moment, they are taken into the diaspora. Worse still, they are then being killed in the diaspora. Mm. So it's, it's a life of surprises. Mm. It's one crucible after another. Yeah. In that moment, Peter then says, don't be surprised. Oh. Don't be surprised. Okay. Yeah. So, so and, but what surprises might we uh, come out, what, what might, might come out our way, you know, uh, mm -hmm. particularly during this time? Yeah. What surprises might come our, our way as pertaining to the lesson? Um, Pastor? Well, one surprise is you can receive a phone call one morning mm -hmm. and be told that your contract has end ended. Yes. You could wake up one morning mm -hmm. and your beloved spouse or, mm -hmm. or partner tells you that uh, mm -hmm. I've had an extramarital affair. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are so many surprises mm -hmm. uh, we, which can come. And I think uh, for us, uh, th th this lesson is very very, very practical mm -hmm. to say that we as believers have a tendency to then question mm -hmm. that is God still God? Mm -hmm. Where is God mm -hmm. when I'm going through what I'm going through? Mm -hmm. so, so we can say that a surprise is an event mm -hmm. that takes place. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it, it's an event that takes place that is supposed to shake us. Uh -huh. Okay. And what, what Peter is saying is that this event that is taking place, that is that will normally should shake us, must just be something that is not foreign for an, from an expectation point of view. Yes, it, must not be, it must not be foreign. Aha. Okay. Aha. So, so when something happens in our lives, whether it be the fact that you have lost your loved one yeah. unexpectedly, you know, just imagine mm -hmm. you wake up in the morning and you, you know, in the middle of the night, you get a phone call that your, your spouse or your child has had an accident. Mm -hmm. It must not surprise you. Mm -hmm. It is an event, and that event, Pastor Laven, mm -hmm. is not sin. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's not sin. Okay. That event that has taken place is something that is happening to you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is supposed to surprise you and cause you to act in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So, and because it is a surprise, it must not then make, give us or make us teach us surprises, mm -hmm. my behavior. Ed, because that is a surprise. Because to this surprise, mm -hmm. children don't need to behave in a certain way. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. 
And you, 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 you begin to have a reflex reaction of course. to that surprise. And yes. so what we are learning here is that we must not be surprised by these surprises. Mm -hmm. So that when we act, we act normally. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. To, to yeah. those surprises, uh, yeah. so that at least we, we have a thought process to say, okay, uh, this surprise, if this, whatever comes our way, mm -hmm. must not surprise us. So I'm th thinking about something, mm -hmm. um, because the Apostle Peter says, beloved, do not think. Mm -hmm. So he is addressing his believers mm -hmm. at a mindset level. Mm -hmm. okay? wow. for, for, for example, one of the ways to prevent a fire from sp spreading mm -hmm. is uno fanu pisa pam. Okay, the fire won't spread. Are we then suggesting that the Apostle Peter is preparing the mindset of the believers for the circumstance? That is correct. So that when the circumstance comes, the circumstance that does not define their, their behavior, they, 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 are, they are already preconditioned Mm -hmm. through the, this warning, mm -hmm. that by the time the trial comes, mm -hmm. you act according to the mindset you had before the trial. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. This is a beautiful, be you know, I was thinking about it, because this ties down, ties up together with the previous lesson. Mm -hmm. Though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, mm -hmm. I fear yeah. no evil. Yeah. So, because when you are in the valley of the shadow of death, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are always surprises yeah. <laughs> on mm -hmm. the side. Mm -hmm. But because we are with Christ, it shouldn't surprise us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so this is what we are learning about surprise. So we must not worry about things that are happening around us. We must not fear them. They must not surprise us mm -hmm. because they are supposed to happen in our lives. And we are going to learn why they are supposed to happen in our lives as we go on mm -hmm. with our lesson. I don't know if there are any other comments on this. <coughs> And it's good that uh, the writer does not say a surprise. Mm -hmm. He's saying surprises, mm -hmm. plural. So, which is plural. Yeah. That is also to highlight that um, you may be going through one surprise. Mm -hmm. As you are saying, OK, this is it. Mm -hmm. Another surprise hit you. Mm -hmm. And another surprise hit you. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a, a, a reoccurrence of surprise after surprise, because you're thinking, uh, and, and why is it a surprise? You're not expecting it. Yes. You're thinking otherwise. You're thinking, I'm in Christ. I'm covered. Come on. And then there's this surprise. And say, oh, okay, maybe I'm just being tried, and it's not going to become worse. And then another one hits. And when you look at Christians during this time, not only are they living in the diaspora, yeah. not only have they been removed from their land, not only are they going through the crisis of waiting for Christ to return, mm -hmm. They've also been excluded from the social economy. Oh. They can't buy, they can't yeah. sell. Yeah. They can't even worship because at this time, the Roman Empire has declared Christianity to be a religio elicite, yes. and a forbidden religion. Yeah. Okay. So you are surprised that we are now even being forbidden to worship. So in Revelation now, the same people cry, for how long, O oh Lord? Oh. And they are surprised that uh, it's taking forever. One emperor is going, Nero has died, another emperor has come, yeah. but he has continued with bringing in more surprises. Fantastic, fantastic. Now we're going to be looking at the crucibles of Saturn as we look at on Monday. And this is tying to, to the surprises that we meet. And where are these surprises coming from? Remember, the surprise is not sin. It's an oh, yeah. event ah. that causes us to act for God or against God. But now we're looking at the crucibles of Saturn. Pastor, what are the crucibles of Saturn? Ah, yeah. We, and we're a... getting this from uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, mm -hmm. uh, from verse 8 to 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant. Mm -hmm. For your adversary, the devil, walk up, walketh about mm -hmm. as a roaring lion, seeking who mm -hmm. he may devour. Mm -hmm. I think with, 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 within the broader teaching of the biblical worldview, we, we cannot ignore the crucibles of Satan. Mm -hmm. Because as an Adventist faith, mm -hmm. we believe that we're in a great controversy. Mm -hmm. so, so, so in some instances, we should expect mm -hmm. crucibles that, that come from Satan. Mm -hmm. Okay, And um, when, when, when you look at uh, uh, um, the, the lesson, mm -hmm. the, the, there's a call to be sober mm -hmm. and to be vigilant. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important for us to understand that those two co co concepts. Be sober, not influenced by alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, be vigilant. Mm -hmm. Be watchful. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you are awake 
to, to watch out for any dangerous because the devil is walking around like a roaring the lesson actually says like a hungry lion okay. uh, so he will not stop mm -hmm. until he is satisfied mm -hmm. yes okay <laughs> <laughs> so the, the 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 crucible of satan now what i like the most and you preached about it mm -hmm. is the devil is our enemy we, we must not forget who the enemy is. Mm. Because, you know, there's nothing that is painful, that you are going through a painful experience and you've got a brother and you think the brother is going to get you out of trouble mm. and the brother becomes the agent of the devil. And Peter comes to say, no, 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 it's not the brother. Mm. The, the adversary mm. is the devil. Mm -hmm. And what I liked also most here is knowledge. Mm. Peter is giving them knowledge to say, the enemy is the devil, mm. unlike Job. Job is going through a tough time. He does, know, does not know what's going on. He expects God to come through and help him. And God expects Job to endure the trouble. And for me, the punchline here is, can God trust us with trouble? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. okay. okay. Professor. You know, I, I like what you said, and, and this is what I truly believe. I want to say this to you, my fellow brothers and sisters, that... Uh, the passage or the lesson does not say the crucibles of my wife or the crucibles oh, yes. of my husband oh, yes. or the crucible of my boss mm -hmm. or my children. It says the crucible of singular Saturn. Mm -hmm. wow. So all the crucibles are coming from one source. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Whether they are going to cause us to sin oh, yes. or they are going to cause us to perfection. Mm -hmm. They are coming from one place. Mm -hmm. And they are coming from a place where there is a lion that wants to be fed. Yeah. Mm. And there is roaring to cause us to panic, to come so that he can eat. Mm -hmm. Hey, isn't that so? Mm -hmm. so? So the crucibles are coming from one place. Mm -hmm. And they are coming so that one can feed themselves. Amen. Amen. And this is the thing about it. God puts a table yeah. mm -hmm. to feed us in the presence of our enemies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The devil wants to eat. Mm -hmm. He causes us to. He roars. Mm -hmm. So that we can panic mm -hmm. yes. and move away from the table. Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, from the table. Okay. So that we can move away from the table. Mm -hmm. And when we move away from his table, mm -hmm. Where we go, we mm -hmm. do not eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He eats. We are eaten. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what you say. Amen. So it is not our, our brothers. It is not our sisters. Mm -hmm. It is when somebody does something wrong to you, mm -hmm. it is not him. Just think about it. It is the devil. Amen. Your brother is also looking for salvation. Mm -hmm. In the very act that they are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we must not focus or concentrate on what he has done. Rather, focus on the shepherd. Yes. That's why we talked about the shepherd in the first in, mm -hmm. uh, offering. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that we learn, if you look at verse, uh, I think verse 10 and 11, I don't know if you want to comment. Maybe verse 10, verse 11, which says, be steadfast. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, verse 10, uh, that, that, that's first Peter 5, verse 10. Yes. Uh, is, is, no, this is the wrong one I'm looking at. Chapter the, 5, verse 10 to 11, yes. Yes, yes, yes. First Peter 5. But may the God of all grace who called you uh, us to his eternal glory, okay, uh, after you have suffered a while, mm. th there, there are four things, mm. okay, that, 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 that he does. Number one, he perfects. Mm -hmm. Number two, he establishes. Mm -hmm. Number three, he strengthens. Uh -huh. Number four, he settles you. Yes. <laughs> after the affliction. After wow. the affliction. affliction. Yes. Uh -huh. After the, it, it actually happens. Ah, <laughs> so the affliction yes. that is coming yes. mm -hmm. from the devil mm -hmm. makes you perfect. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the affliction that is coming, mm. this problem that is uh, is come through, whoever it has come mm. through, mm. makes me perfect. Ooh. Whoever and whatever circumstance makes me perfect. Ah. And establishes me mm. and strengthens me mm. and sends me. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. Mm. 
all these elements mm -hmm. are for my benefit. Ah. Mm. The crucible is an instrument in the hand of God, despite the source. Mm -hmm. Where when God looks at the crucible, mm -hmm. he's not worried about the source, uh -uh. but he's worried about how he can use that instrument uh -huh. mm -hmm. to establish, to strengthen, mm -hmm. to... <laughs> <laughs> and, and for me, mm -hmm. all for me, yeah. just for me. Oh, yes. As there's a saying, I always say, it's just for me. Mm -hmm. So the crucible is just for me. Mm -hmm. You wanted to make it. <laughs> so it's the devil who manufactures the crucible. Okay. Uh -huh. But it is Christ who then repackages it. Uh -huh. hey. What does that mean? Uh -huh. um, the devil is the one who is the source. Yeah. And when he brings, uh -huh. he wants to destroy because he's after life. Uh -huh. He's a murderer uh -huh. from the beginning. Yeah. He wants to kill. Yeah. But the grace of God comes in in our crucible and says, this thing that is meant to, cru to kill you mm -hmm. is the thing that is going to perfect you. So, you meant it for evil, mm -hmm. but God means it for good. Mm -hmm. What then shall separate us from the love of God? Mm -hmm. no, because Jesus all things nothing. work for the good to them that love God. Okay. And uh, you know, it also takes us back to the fact that, remember, from, from uh, Psalms, uh, mm -hmm. chapter 23, mm -hmm. that you remember, we can't see. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. Too far. Yes. Wow. So, what we are only, what God limits what we can see. Mm -hmm. So the crucible that comes, comes within the confines of the space that God has allowed us to see. see. You will never allow a crucible to come from way beyond where we can see. Oh, yes. So that he can then protect us from the place where we are. At. <laughs> and what we can see mm -hmm. is we see this cross crucible. Mm -hmm. Remember Elisha mm -hmm. and, the, and his servant. Mm -hmm. the, when, the, when the servant was able to see... Huh? The yes. crucible. Yeah. Yes. Elijah was able to show him yeah. the angels that yes. were protecting him. Yeah. Yes. So beyond that crucible is the angels that are protecting us wow. so we cannot fall. Wow. Elder, you are saying to the viewer mm -hmm. <laughs> who is listening to this lesson and who is watching, mm -hmm. who's just been told that you've lost your job, mm -hmm. whose child has just died, mm -hmm. who, who, who has just lost a loved one. You're talking to a teenager mm -hmm. who has just lost... The, the, the breadwinner. You're talking to a parent mm -hmm. who is dealing with a child mm -hmm. who is bent on drugs. Mm -hmm. You are saying they're angels and it's good for you. Yes. That, well, I, I, I'm, I'm not in that space because God does not give a crucible, uh, does not allow a crucible mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. That is same for me. Mm -hmm. He only allows it within the space of your sight. No, I'm, I'm actually agree, agree, mm. I'm, I'm in agreement with you mm. and, and because what we need to do as well is to bring into the viewer mm -hmm. who is watching, mm -hmm. who is not seeing God, mm. who is not seeing the angels to mm. profess mm. Yes. Mm. They, they, yes. they are yes. not yes. seeing the, the angels yes. and they don't have an Elisha to pray for them mm. and say wow. open his eyes mm -hmm. wow. so that they can see. So that they can, they can see. see. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so I'm, I'm thinking of Job also yeah. Yeah. because he does yeah. not see. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. He, he does not see the end. Exactly. Kids dead. Mm. He's lost everything. Mm. Business. Everything is lost. Mm. He does not see. Him. His friends come. Mm. They can't comfort him. Mm. In that moment, you know, in the book of Job, Job asked God why. 64 times. Yeah. Say, why? Why didn't even I die in my mother's womb? Why? And God asked Job three questions. And the, in the first question, Job was done. Yeah. God simply said, who? has made the boundaries for the sea. Mm -hmm. and, and, and to the why questions, God is saying, who is in charge in your crucible? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the devil wants to destroy you. Do you think the devil is in charge? Mm -hmm. No, he's not in charge. Mm -hmm. Even in the crucible, God has put a boundary. Because remember on chapter mm -hmm. one, God has said, touch everything, not his life. Mm -hmm. So even in that crucible, there is a boundary. Okay. You have lost yeah. your job, yes. But God has put a boundary of grace that uh, you will not be tried more than what you can endure. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now we go on to Tuesday. And when I put Tuesday in context, okay, um, I just struggle a little bit on this passage, but I want to try and put it within the context of what we have just learned, mm -hmm. the crucibles of sin. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah. The one, one, one statement I like uh, from, from the lesson, mm -hmm. cause and effect always go together. Amen. And, and we, we, within the context of the passage, which is Romans chapter 1 from verse mm. 18. Mm. 
The Apostle Paul is referring to people who have a knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. I think that that's the starting point. Mm -hmm. They have a knowledge of God, mm -hmm. but they deliberately ignore mm -hmm. the precepts, the, the judgment, and the mm -hmm. laws of God. No, okay. And they worship the, 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 the creature mm -hmm. more than the, the creator. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. God gives them over to their vile affections. Okay. So, so, so the context of Romans chapter 1, mm -hmm. Paul is not speaking to non-believers. Mm -hmm. He is speaking to be believers mm -hmm. Who, whose crucibles mm -hmm. are as a result of their own choices. Okay, okay. As a result of rebellion. And you remember mm -hmm. when, uh, was it, uh, Samuel speaks to, mm -hmm. uh, to Saul mm -hmm. for, the, 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 for certain uh, re -re rebellion, mm -hmm. when he speaks about re rebellion, mm -hmm. the sin of, of rebellion mm -hmm. is like witchcraft. Yes, 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 yes. So this is a deliberate choice mm -hmm. to disobey God. Mm -hmm. It has its consequences. Okay. Okay, yes. you want to say something? Now, the context of Romans mm -hmm. and the context of Peter mm -hmm. is the same in that the people to whom the, the recipient of the text mm -hmm. are both in the diaspora. Yes, yes. Okay. Those who are in Rome, because remember, Rome is the New York of its time. Mm -hmm. This is where everything happens. It's, mm -hmm. it's the city. Mm -hmm. So these ones now who are in the city are caught up mm -hmm. in the behaviors of the diaspora of Rome. Mm -hmm. So even though they know the truth, but the circumstances of people around them, they are going into homosexuality, they are doing many yeah. things, but they know. And, and, and God is now saying to them, like those in Cappadocia, yeah. who are going through because of their faith, you are also going to go through a crucible. Because of your sin, you are coping the behavior of the people around you. So you are going so, to so suffer. Can you safely say that, that on the basis of this subject, of this, of, of this text, the event then it leads you to a specific place. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are caught up. So we are caught up in the things that are taking place in this in this place, mm -hmm. and then they lead us mm -hmm. to a certain place. Yeah. So if you look at um, Monday, Monday, the crucibles because all these crucibles yeah. are from Satan. Yes, yes, yes all yes. of them. True. Yes. Whether during Peter's time mm -hmm. or during the Roman Paul's time, yeah, mm -hmm. they are all from the same source. Mm -hmm. And they are all being caused by a rolling lion, <laughs> which is wanting to feed us, yes. which is wanting to feed on us. So when this event comes our way mm -hmm. and we are tested by mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. we then choose, <clears throat> excuse me, we then choose to fall. So in this place, we are cho and as you continue to choose to fall, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. You are then led to a place where you just become that. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Because continually, uh -huh. God is continuing to talk to you. Mm. My son, mm. you're, you can't see. Mm. I've put you in this place. This excitement that you see mm -hmm. is also a crucible. So, my brother, uh -huh. a crucible uh -huh. can be something that is painful. Yes. Yes, a crucible can do something. Yes. That is so nice. Mm. Yeah. Yes. You've nailed it. So You've nailed it. <laughs> in the niceness of this crucible, <laughs> yeah. it can lead you to destruction because it is coming from a roaring lion. Yeah. Uh, You've nailed it. <laughs> so, 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 so okay. we go to Timothy now, yeah. and Paul is writing, and because of his faith, mm -hmm. he's in prison. His head is going to be chopped off mm -hmm. the following day. Mm -hmm. But as Paul then writes to Timothy, then says, Demas. Mm -hmm. And this year. Has forsaken me, yeah. having loved yeah. the present world. Yeah. Okay. So the devil does not just bring negative crucibles. Uh -huh. He brings in also positive crucibles. Anyway. He brings in cakes. Because he says, this one, yeah. if you bring trouble, mm -hmm. he'll survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give him cakes. Mm -hmm. We'll be done. Mm -hmm. and, and, hey. and this is then what happens to the Christians who are in Rome. Mm -hmm. They are given the nice things. Mm -hmm. And before they know it, they're done. So, so the lesson is then teaching us, Pastor, mm -hmm. Mm. That we always, as Christians, are look, looking at the painful aspects yeah. of our lives yeah. mm. and looking at the fact that why has God forsaken us? Mm -hmm. We must be having the same cry mm -hmm. when good things are around us, which lead us astray. Mm. The pleasure that leads to pain. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. When yeah. we must say, God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah. So, uh, why have you so forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me? Because of the good things. Oh, because of the wow. good things. I think you've nailed it on yes. the head. Yes. Yeah, you've yes. nailed it on, on the head. Mm. Um, 
it then brings us back to this point. We must be sober. Mm -hmm. And we must be vigilant. Yes. Okay. We must watch. Yes. You know, one, one thing when you were saying, your, your, when you were highlighting your, 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 your points, mm -hmm. when a lion roars, mm -hmm. it puts the prey or the potential prey in a state of shock. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So even good things mm -hmm. can shock put us in a state of spiritual shock. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. this is me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yet we can't see beyond mm -hmm. the circumstances. We don't mm -hmm. have. The, the, the divine vision mm -hmm. beyond our immediate sight. Thank mm -hmm. you, Pastor. Now we go to Thursday, the crucibles of purification. Okay. And this is what you're talking about. Pastor, maybe mm -hmm. can you just spend some time then? Again, mm -hmm. Jeremiah is also writing in the context of exile. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. And, and, and I don't know why the writers keep on, because we are also in exile, yeah, no matter yes. how good earth may be. Yes. Yeah. So within this context of exile, mm -hmm. God is saying, I am going to refine you. Mm -hmm. And in this crucible of purification, mm -hmm. God is constant in that he's not going to take away the trouble. Mm -hmm. He's not going to remove the crucible. Mm -hmm. He's going to strengthen us that we endure. We are strong for the crucible. Mm -hmm. But as we are strong for the crucible, mm -hmm. what's happening? It's not mental strength. Mm -hmm. It's not emotional strength. Mm -hmm. It is in that we become purified to yeah. become like Christ. Amen. But Pastor, you want to make a comment there? That is the objective, to become like Christ. Mm -hmm. the, the, new, new, the, the, the translation used here, the New mm -hmm. King James translation, mm -hmm. says, behold, I will refine. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the King James, it says, I will melt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that's in, interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I will melt. Mm -hmm. You can't be refined mm -hmm. without being melted. Fantastic. Job 20, 20, 23, 10 says, mm -hmm. I shall be tried. Mm -hmm. And I will come out as pure as gold. Mm -hmm. So many of us, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me, when we see the ore mm -hmm. from which the gold is extracted, we mm -hmm. think perfection. Mm -hmm. ah. But from the divine p -p perspective, mm -hmm. I need to take you through a process where I can extract the best of you. Okay. Ah. Value addition. Yes. Value addition. <laughs> yes. And the part of the just. So, so what is happening here is that the crucible, mm -hmm. according to Peter, mm -hmm. and the crucible, according to Romans, mm -hmm. yeah. both are crucibles, by the way, mm -hmm. their purpose is to make us better. perfect. Yes. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yes. They are supposed to, and this is a process. Mm -hmm. And then I like Proverbs, the path of the just is like a shining, shining light. light. That shineth mm -hmm. forth unto a perfect day. Perfect Isn't it so? Yes, that's so right. they are purifying us. So mm -hmm. on a daily basis, mm -hmm. when we meet a crucible, mm -hmm. It takes off some speck. When we meet another crucible, it takes off another speck. Whether it's bad, good things, mm -hmm. it takes off a speck. Mm -hmm. How you handle good things as they mm -hmm. come, speck off. Yeah. How you handle terrible things when yeah. they come, yeah. takes off a speck. Yeah. Until a perfect day. Mm. So we are looking at this, that the essence of a crucible is to make us perfect. That's yes. It. To make us perfect. Yes. To make us and be able to get to a place Mm -hmm. Where we are like Christ. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Where we are like Christ. Is, so is that what we are learning from this place? 100% the whole quarter. Mm -hmm. At the end of it, we must understand mm -hmm. that these crucibles are mm -hmm. good for us. us. Mm -hmm. They are they're instruments good. that God mm -hmm. is and using. And they are coming for the purpose best. of wow. affecting us. They are associate professors. <laughs> <laughs> and for my good pastor, Lafayette. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> just for you. Yeah. Yes. And, 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 and just a little bit for me. Oh. oh <laughs> and God always gives us what we can handle. Yes. yes. Now we look at Thursday. Yeah. Crucibles of maturity. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Crucibles yeah. of maturity. Pastor Laban. Mm. The, the word in this is, I love words. It, both the vacuum, ta, 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 perfection. Yeah. But while you are being perfected, I know it's also of maturity. Mm -hmm. and okay, that's the, uh, to take note, it says crucibles of mm -hmm. maturity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so the assumption there, when you look at the text, mm -hmm. the Apostle Paul refers to himself. Uh -huh. He says, I know of a man who went to the third, third heaven, uh -huh. and he gets some revelation uh -huh. that he can't utter on earth. Uh -huh. Then he says, but I've got a thorn in my flesh. Uh -huh. This thorn, some scholars will tell you that it was an eyesight issue. Uh -huh. Some will tell you that maybe uh, he had other challenges. But this crucible, mm. he was aware of it. Mm -hmm. This thorn in the flesh, and, and he knew it. And he prayed for it. He prayed for it and three he, times. And it didn't go away. 
it was, God kept it there. But mm. within that context, mm -hmm. God says to him, my grace is sufficient for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so some cru crucibles mm. are opportunities for us to see the sufficiency of his grace. Amen. Saka crucible e fundis. Ino ita kuti Paul aita singa kuti anokuna ukita basaraki. Kanana yo crucible e. Saka anenga a week. Ashiti padu mari. This is week. Yes. Padu maro vats. Uh uh. I am sufficient so that in your weakness, I am strong. You are going to be strong. You are strong. Yeah. And you are going to accomplish everything that you are going to do. Is, is that what you are talking about? That's exactly what we are saying. In your weakness. In your weakness. Your mm. weakness becomes your opportunity. So, I crucible is in a chance. Why is the funga? Yes. Yes. Saka, Dear Nesimba, yes. not Iwe. Yeah. Yes. So that is the purpose of this. Is that, is that, is that what you're yeah. saying? So, so the imagery that you find in this crucible mm -hmm. is, of course, uh, the words suggest that the, the, the thorn is on his side. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 uh, the pictorial image that you see mm -hmm. is a thorn which is in the shoe, in the sandal. Oh. So that yeah. every time he walks, mm -hmm. he feels it, he removes his shoe. Mm -hmm. He checks for this thorn, he can't find it, puts it back. He walks again, he can't find it three times he has prayed. Mm -hmm. So what this stone does is, mm -hmm. it changes his walk. Okay. He then walks with a limp. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Eutychus has died, and Paul is preaching. Mm -hmm. The very guy who's got this stone in his flesh mm -hmm. goes to pray for Eutychus. Eutychus is resurrected. Mm -hmm. The very guy who's got this crucible, mm -hmm. you take his handkerchief, mm -hmm. it is able to do miracles. Mm -hmm. But even though he is the source of these things, he can't do it for himself. Ah, ah Mama Dipiza. He can, <laughs> he can resurrect the dead. He, but this stone, he can't, take it he can't remove it. Which is his, it's his pain. It's his. He can't do anything about it. And, and what is God doing? He says, you can resurrect the dead. Mm -hmm. You can heal the sick. Mm -hmm. But this stone mm -hmm. is for your own healing. And problem. Yes. Remember, a uh, pastor, uh, Jacob, he is praying to God. And then he, God comes and visits him. Yeah. And then he starts to wrestle with him. Yes. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Suggesting that he had power, mm. he had strength, mm -hmm. he had the stamina yeah. mm -hmm. to wrestle with him the whole night. Yeah. Mm. Then God says, because mm. yeah. so God has to tap him. Mm -hmm. And when he is going to meet Esau, mm -hmm. he does not have the strength that he had when he was no. fighting during the night. No. And so when he is going to Esau, he has zero strength. So who has the strength? God. God. It's God. Totally dependent on God. God. So now he is dependent on God. Mm. Yeah. Because of his behavior, he was always cunning. I know he had this cunning activity and did this. So what I'm trying to say here, my fellow viewers and my brothers, is that they are crucibles that we get mm -hmm. that will keep us in the shadow of mm. Christ. Yeah. Yes. That's around it. Christ. And if they it. don't come our ah, way, yeah, 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 yeah. we will be in trouble. We will be. Yeah. So I'm thinking about Jacob, mm. because uh, Ellen White says, when you would go to Esau, every step that you would make yes. would exhaust all his strength. Yeah. Oh. And you would then stop, mm. regain strength. Mm. And you are going to meet your enemy mm. in that state. Esau is coming for you and in a state where your cunningness is not going to save you. But in the moments of our weakness, mm. that's when we are strong. So for Paul, every miracle that he performs, mm. when he takes that step, mm. that step is telling him, Aus, yeah. Aus, mm. you are not the one. Mm. Paul then says, because every day when he takes that step, mm. that thorn in the flesh hits him. So no matter which miracle he has performed, mm. he's reminded by the thorn. 
you are not the man. Paul then says, it is no longer I who lives, but Christ, but Christ who lives um, in man. I, I, we cannot close this uh, segment mm -hmm. uh, by saying any other thing other than what you <laughs> just said. So, Pastor, can you just pray for us? Hold on, thank you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity that we can be partakers in the crucibles that you allow to come our way. Mm. Heavenly Father, give, give us that depth of understanding and faith that looks beyond our senses and digs deep into the mind of divinity to understand that the crucibles which come our way are there to perfect us, mm. to establish us, to strengthen us, and to transform us. Whether they are pleasant or uncomfortable, help us, Father, through these crucibles to understand that you are still God. Thank you so much that even like Jacob, you change our names in our crucibles that we may become better. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.